Good evening, YouTube community. This is Martin from Martin's Model Shop. I'm going to get final on my latest build. Now, I don't think about it. I'm not putting paint right now. Um, this is a total scratch build. Uh, build. Uh, use the basic chassis from the 53 Ford truck. I bought a Jimmy Flintstone uh, COE dual cab and stretched the chassis. As you can see on the back, but I got a previous model built and stuff, a Nova. Um, but this is a car carrier that I've built, and I'm going to build another model to go on the car carrier. But uh, this is, uh, like I say, a total scratch build. I mean, there's nothing I used out to get except the chassis, the rear end, and the front end. Other than that, it's all scratch build. So I'll give you a little sp spin around. And you can take a look at it. The flames that are on it are from a 57 Chevrolet. Um, the grill is left over from a previous 53 Ford build that I had. Uh, the wheels and tires are from various kits. Um, the rims itself, I printed on my 3D printer. Um, that was one of my first experiences with printing things but um, the bed on this truck is total totally built out of styrene nothing was used um, out of any kit or anything like that it's all straight flat styrene that I made and uh, bent the, the bar and so forth but as you can see uh, it came out pretty darn nice all of the windows in it are hand built. Uh, they made out of clear plastic acetate that I've gotten. Actually, it is made out of uh, plastic that you get from food stores, uh, clear stuff. The windows in the back are all the way up. The windows in the front are made halfway up. Uh, let me take this off so you can see the bed. I'll just put it back there out the way um, as you can see back here in the back whoop it won't turn with that there um, on the bed itself I made some hoops for the chains and I made chains with the uh, little hooks I made tow hooks that you could actually hook to the chassis and then hook to the car and then as a simulated um, winch that's kind of made out of ink pens and things like that <laughs> um, but yeah let me take the hood off and it has an LS engine in it out of the 2016 Camaro kit I had kind of messed up that kit so I uh, used the, the engine on it but there's the bottom as you can see I stretched the chassis right in between here uh, three inches to make it made my own dually wheels used uh, the wire harness for the battery box to go into the uh, winch and the battery wire goes to the starter and there is cool alignments going to the transmission and uh, I've got a I'm gonna put a cable onto the drive shaft here this is a like a, a brake that I put in the middle uh, for like emergency brake and I made this strut bar to get the distributor I mean the uh, dis the drive shaft to go through um, but these are all supports that are made to glue the kit together and as I say I have to put the front bumper on I got it painted right now I'm waiting for it to dry um, but the interior, the interior is all hand built out of different pieces. The dash I made myself. Um, I don't know if you can catch a 
a view of the dash. It's flat styrene that I built and I used uh, decals for gauges out of the 50 Merc. <laughs> And like I say, it's a Jimmy Flintstone uh, resin body, and the bed is hand built uh, out of styrene. Uh, this is just a uh, bar that I bent and glued into it. Um, the paint is the um, color shift by, uh, uh, let's see. For words right now, folk art that's what it is. This is the color shift yellow flash uh, with a white uh, primer, and uh, it's got just like two coats of clear on it after that, and it's just been hand rubbed out. Nothing. Nothing special. No sanding or anything like that. It's just been hand rubbed with the compound. But it looks pretty good with the uh, the car on it. And I think I'm gonna build a, a old school rig, uh, maybe a Fiat or something like that to put on it, and just put it on my rack. So. I think um, the 3D printer made the wheels, like I say, um, did it through uh, Thinginverse. Uh, I picked out a a um, design out of there, and then I just made my own wheels and made my own axles and so forth to put it through. And, but it, it came out pretty, pretty sweet, I think, for a scratch-built my first experience with doing a total scratch build I've been I've done some scratch build things but never a total build and I did uh, with the Tamiya panel on tape paint I have to clean it up a little bit more uh, but other than that I think that's about it for today so if you like it give me a thumbs up uh, I answer all comments that you do and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I appreciate it if you find me subscribing to my channel. And uh, I guess that's about it. So have a great weekend coming up. Today's Friday. So have a blessed weekend, everybody. This is Martin from Martin's Model Shop signing out.